Hello everybody and welcome to Mariel Talks Pop. On this episode, I will take you back in time to remember lost pop princess from the early 2000s, Tonya Mitchell. Let's see if you remember her. Tonya Jean Mitchell was born on August 21st of 1982 in Madisonville, Kentucky to Cowboy Louie and Paulette Mitchell. She grew up in Tennessee, always showing an interest in singing, dancing and acting. She started performing at a very young age and appearing in small commercials. Guess who just had a baby? Johnson's Baby Powder. Now there's a new Johnson's Baby Powder with cornstarch. It's more absorbent and it makes me feel nice and soft and loved the way Johnson's Baby Powder always has. It's a new powder and it's even more of a feeling you'll never rub row. Tonya's stage name was TJ Tucker and did some live performances under that name before becoming a pop star. In 1998, Tonya was performing country music at a regional benefit for St. Jude's Hospital when all of a sudden she was discovered by Bill Bomer, Justin Timberlake's grandfather. Bomer told Tonya that he could introduce her to his grandson, who was just getting started with NSYNC and that he could help her break into the music industry. Without hesitation, Tonya accepted and was signed to Justin's management company, Justin Time Entertainment, and was managed by Justin's mother, Lynn Harless. By 2000, Tony signed to Universal Records and so she began the recording of her debut studio album, I Represent. Her first single, Broken Promises, was released on February 27 of 2001. The song picked at number 38 on the Billboard Mainstream Top 40 chart, while her album was released on April 10 of 2001. To promote her album, Tonya appeared on different TV shows and was one of the opening acts for NSYNC's Pop Odyssey Tour, sharing the stage with other acts like Dream, Lil Romeo, Tyrese, and Nelly. Now, you have an album out now? Yes, it's in stores now. And it's called I Represent? Uh-huh. And do you write your own stuff? Um, I haven't yet, but um, hopefully soon for the second album. What is, obviously people, there's the inevitable comparison to other well-known young women who are singers, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. Right. Um, how are you different from them? Well, you know, it's really hard to say because you're always going to be compared, mm -hmm. no matter, you know. So, um, just basically, you know, I'm Tanya, I'm not Britney, I'm not Jessica, I'm not trying to be anybody. Mm -hmm. I make my own music and it's my own style. Describe your sound, your style, and particularly, there's a lot out there that it's called this bubblegum stuff. Right. How do you respond to that and how do you, you know, stay away from that label because you're obviously very committed to your music. It's very serious for you. Exactly. Well, you know, I describe my music as pop R&B. It's really not bubblegum at all. And if you get the album, I represent <laughs> in stores now. <laughs> if you get it, you know, you'll, you'll see. It's really nothing like bubblegum. Right. And tell me about some of the other songs on it because Broken Promises and are there ballads and that kind of thing. Is it the full range? Oh, definitely. I mean, there's like ballads, there's mid-tempos, there's fast songs, it's everything. Only a few months after the release of her album, Tonya's father, cowboy Louis Mitchell, passed away. Following the heartache of losing her father, Mitchell was dropped from Universal Records without explanation and so she decided to spend more time with her family. Tonya married Carl Salesman Jason Essery in 2002 and had a daughter named Scarlett who was born in 2004. In 2005, Tonya reappeared with new songs that she released through her MySpace account and was signed to a new management company named Brand On Management. She left this management company in 2007 and in 2008, Tonya officially announced that she was no longer pursuing an active singing career. Tonya had an active Instagram account until a couple of years ago, but I recently discovered that she shut it down. I sent her a couple of emails to invite her to my channel, but never got a response. I hope she's doing great, and I will definitely try to reach out for her, so hopefully one day I can interview her and talk about her amazing album that I'm sure you all pop music fans love it as much as I do. What are your thoughts on Tonya's music? Do you think she deserves more attention from the media? I know that back in the day there were a lot of female singers and competition was really tough, 
But definitely, Tonya had one of the best voices from that time, and in my opinion, people slept on her and her talent. Now, when it comes to ranking the album, here's how I would rank it. Remember, this is just my personal opinion. How would you rank Tonya's album? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up! See you next time!